All right, let me get my um, fun juice, my pixie stick going real quick. I literally stole this from my kid's Easter basket to give me a shot of sugar when I'm feeling a little low key. And haven't had enough coffee, pixie sticks will do it just right. Okay, so clearly I have one eye that looks really wide awake and lovely and finished. And then I have another eye that looks sad and lonely and bare. So today's video is obviously going to be all about a super fun but easy neutral eyeshadow tutorial that you can do yourself right at home. So let's get started. Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. I am Jennifer of the beauty blog JennySueMakeup.com and yes, since you just saw that cold open, you realize that my tongue is blue because I just had a pixie stick. I'm going to try to drink some water throughout this tutorial to get rid of that because I know it's probably very distracting as you watch this video. It was very helpful in getting me in getting my energy up though, however. So before we get started with this eyeshadow tutorial, which is I know what you came here for, please be sure to make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button and go follow me on some of those other social media platforms, whichever ones you like, like Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. I'm on all of them. I actually just started on TikTok back again. I took some time off probably about nine, 10 months ago, but I'm back on TikTok. So if you're into TikTok, go follow me over there too at Jenny Sue Makeup. Now this is one of those subjects that a lot of women struggle with and that is how to apply eyeshadow. So of course you can do it very simply and apply one eyeshadow color or you can go super dramatic and I have used sometimes six to eight eyeshadow colors on my own eyelid or a client's eyelid. But today I'm gonna kind of meet somewhere in the middle and show y'all how to do a relatively easy neutral eyeshadow look just like what I've got on here and now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off and tell you what tools I'm using first so that you know what I had available to make this look. So the first thing that you are going to need is you're going to need some sort of eyelid primer if you don't own an eyelid primer, which I find a lot of women don't, they just don't wanna pay for a lid primer. You can use your concealer or your foundation. So I'm actually going to use the foundation that I'm currently wearing on my face um, just for ease and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 104. Then you're gonna to wanna to have your eyeshadow palette to create your look. With this look, I'm gonna use around three to four eyeshadow colors. And so you'll need some sort of eyeshadow palette, whatever is your favorite. Make sure it's at least a trio or a quad or like what I'm using today. I'm using the Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte. And it obviously has a bunch of colors. It has around 12. I'm not gonna use all 12, but it's a good neutral eyeshadow palette to use. I just got it and now I'm using it like every day. It's like my favorite. Then you're also going to need your eyeshadow tools. You're gonna need at least two eyeshadow brushes and I am going to be using the Morphe M709 and then the Mac, oh, I believe this is Mac. Oh, and it's so old, I can't even read the number. Should have figured that out before I started recording this. But it's a Mac brush, I'll have to figure out the number, but it's just a nice fluffy brush. So I have a more tapered, flat, dense eyeshadow brush, and then I've got the Mac one that's a little bit fluffy. And then obviously to finish off your look, you're gonna need stuff for your eyelashes, so an eyelash curler, your favorite mascara, and then one eyeliner. So you're gonna start with your eyelid primer. It can be an eyelid primer, it can be your foundation, it can be your concealer, whatever floats your boat, just something that can lock and hold your eyeshadow in place. So I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I'm just gonna put a little bit. You can see I just tap, tap, tap. You can use your finger to rub it in. I prefer to use my finger and an egg sponge just to really get it nice and even. And you take it all over that eyelid from your brow bone all the way down to your lash line, all the way into the tear duct area. So really cover that entire eyelid so that you make it look nice and flawless and even out the color on that lid. All right, then you wanna let that dry for you know just a few seconds so that it's not too wet once you start applying your eyeshadow. Cause I think that's what I messed up with the first time I tried to do this video that we've got some video footage of that. That did not quite work out the way I wanted it to. There's like a circular dark spot. Yeah. Well, shit. Still right. there on camera. Let's start over. I think that I applied my eyelid primer and then I started applying the eyeshadow too quickly and it hadn't really dried enough and so the darker colors started grabbing where they shouldn't have and it was a hot mess and I had to take it off. What happened? I screwed it up somehow. So even Jenny Sue makeup. Yeah, even I, even beauty experts make mistakes. That's the story I'm gonna go with. At least it's makeup. At least I can take it off and start all over. So now once you've got your eyelid primer on, 
you're gonna start with your eyeshadow palette. You wanna start with your lightest shade in the palette. So with this Tarte palette, we have two light colors called Charmer and Flower Child. I actually want a good mix of both, so I am not afraid to blend some colors to get the perfect color for my eyelid. So I'm actually going to use my fluffy brush by MAC, and I'm gonna blend the two lightest shades together. These are matte which I do kind of prefer matte on the brow bone most of the time. So I'm gonna blend these two together and then I'm gonna start right underneath the brow bone. I'm just gonna rub that right underneath the brow bone, right underneath those brow hairs, and then whatever's left over, I am going to take my brush and just lightly go over the entire eyelid, again, trying to soak up any little wet, creamy spots that the foundation eyelid primer might have left so that we don't have the issue of the darker colors grabbing where they shouldn't. So now, once I've lightened up that brow bone and then dusted the rest of the remainder all over my lid, you can see we have a nice even eyelid. So now I'm gonna switch brushes and I'm gonna go to the smaller, more tapered um, Morphe one that I've got here. So now we're gonna apply our medium shade from the lash to the crease. So I'm gonna go from my lash line to my crease with my medium shade. So for my medium shade today in this palette, I'm gonna use the color Funny Girl, which is actually kind of a shimmery golden champagne color. And so I do like to use shimmers here. If I'm gonna use shimmer, I do prefer to use them from lash to crease. I feel like it just really makes the eyelid pop nicely without being overwhelming, especially at my age. A little bit too much shimmer can highlight little fine lines and wrinkles. So I like to place it just in the right spots. So I'm gonna use Funny Girl and I'm going to start in the middle of my eyelid. I'm gonna take it into the tear duct area and then take it almost to the outside, not quite, but definitely covering this entire lash line to crease. And my crease would be if I put my eyeshadow brush in my eye socket, you can feel where that eyeball ends. That's kind of where I wanna stop with my medium shade. So again, you've gone from your primer to your lightest shade in your palette to your medium shade, whatever that is. So it's a little bit darker than your lightest shade. Okay, so now you can see I've got the Funny Girl shimmery shade right there, especially focusing right in the center of the lid and then a little bit in the tear duct area. All right, so now that you've done that, I'm gonna switch back to my fluffier MAC brush for the next part. So now you're gonna go for your deepest shade. When you use your darkest color, you're gonna focus on the crease of the eyelid and you're gonna do kind of like a sideways V shape to really create some dimension on the eyelid. And I'll show you what I mean. So for this, I'm going to mix the color Smarty Pants and Rubble, which are both, you know, really pretty neutrals, but warm kind of browns and this really kind of like toasty bronzy brown color. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna start off on the outside of the corner of the eye. I always say to start from the outside, especially when you're working with darker colors and work your way in so that you don't start off with too much darkness in the center of the lid and then push it out. You always want the darkness to start from the outside and then blend and get lighter as you go inward. So I'm gonna start on the outside, going right on top of the crease of that eyeball, kind of on top of the socket, and taking it almost to the center of your lid and then stopping. You can always keep, you can always go in more if you want to. It's always harder to take it away, so start lightly. So I start on the top of that. It's almost like I'm putting a little highlight on the top of that gold. And then I'm gonna take my color and I'm gonna connect it to my lash line. So I'm creating this almost like sideways V shape, if that makes sense. Sideways V on the outside of my eye. And then I'm just gonna blend it out again. If you think you've blended enough, blend some more. Can never blend too much. Just really focusing on the dimension and the depth on the outside of the eye. But still not taking this darkest color. You don't wanna cover up that shimmery I don't wanna you know, go over that shimmery champagne color that I created. I want it to have its own little spotlight. So that's why I'm going right on top of it. And I'm going a little, I have a pretty big eye bed space, so I am taking this color a little bit higher on the brow, on the, um, on the bone part of my eyelid, so that when my eyes open, you can really see the color and dimension here and I don't have too much white space. I don't want to be left with a bunch of white space because that's gonna make my eyelid look heavy. That's why, you you know, don't be scared to bring up your darkest, deepest color a little bit higher towards the brow bone, but leaving it nice and light so that there is some difference in dimension. Okay, so I probably need to get my mascara on and everything to make sure that these two eyes match up. They seem to match up in my mirror, but I still need to add a little, I need to go a little bit further. Okay, so once you have done that, I like to go, 
I know some people don't want to do eyeliner and it can get tricky and this is supposed to be a very simple eyeshadow tutorial, but I, I just can't go without zero eyeliner at all. So I'm going to add a little bit of a basic brown eyeliner. This is by Ulta Beauty. This is just their um, general brand in their store. This is their gel eyeliner and the color is black brown. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing like a really complicated eyeliner tutorial, I'm just going to tight line, meaning I'm just going to line underneath the waterline on the upper lash line just to give it a little bit of depth. So I'm just going to lightly lift up on the eyelid and just literally color in that fleshy part. This really doesn't take any skill, like applying like actual eyeliner on the upper part of the eyelid. It just feels funny, but it will give you some depth and dimension that you wouldn't get if you just, you know, didn't do eyeliner at all. So you just try to really push it into the lash line to give those lashes a little bit of depth. And I take it all the way in towards the tear duct, if you can see that. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and add my eyelash curler. Y'all know I don't do mascara without an eyelash curler. It's just a no-no in my book. It makes the eyelashes look so much better. It really opens up the eye bed to use the eyelash curler. Remember to curl it at three separate entities along the lash line. Don't just do one harsh 90 degree curl. Oh, and then before I put the mascara on, you can either choose to do this or not. Some people, if they just want a super simple eyeshadow, you know, look, they could leave it here, put on the mascara and go. But I actually, for this eye, I did add a little bit of dimension on my lower lash line with just eyeshadow, no eyeliner. And so I'm using the Morphe 213 brush here. You can see it's super skinny and super tiny just small enough to get underneath those lower lashes. So I added the same eyeshadow color that I did in the crease area, which is the mix of Smarty Pants and Rebel. And I literally just dust it as close to those lower eyelashes as possible, just to kind of give my eyelashes a little bit more depth and dimension. But you know, no need to do eyeliner here. It might actually look too heavy. If I were to do that, I'm trying to keep this look nice and light. But again, I wanna add a little bit more dimension to my eyeshadow look. So I'm just kind of lightly smoking out that lower lash line, mainly focusing on the outer sides of the eye and then gradually getting much lighter as you go in towards the interior. So that's all I'm gonna do there. Then I'm going to pop on my mascara, of course, and today I am using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And no huge tricks here. Just start at the base of the lash line and kind of wiggle that brush up to give your lashes their best life and to make sure that the base of those lashes is really darkened to give you the look of an, you know, an eyeliner look without having to really do any sort of major eyeliner techniques. And then I'm going to go right on the bottom and just do one coat here. And after I do one coat on the, la on the lower lash line, which is what I typically do, just one, I will go back and do a second coat on the top because two coats is better than one for your lashes, of course. And then once you're done with your mascara, just make sure that you step back, take about an arm distance length from your actual mirror to check out your eye makeup to make sure that they kind of, you know, that they're evened up and that they look the same, that you have the same amount of color on each eye. I will say, I feel like I need a little bit more golden funny girl on the eye that I just did. So I'm gonna go back with my little tapered brush and just dot that on right there. There we go. And then that gives me the dimension and brightness that I was looking for. All right, so that is it for today's eyeshadow technique. Let me go over it one more time. First thing you do, prime that eyelid. You can use an eyelid primer or you can use your own foundation or concealer, just a light little bit, rub it in all over. Then use your favorite eyeshadow palette. Start with your lightest color, dust it on from your underneath your brow bone, then whatever's left over all over the eyelid just to really even out the skin tone and color of your lid. Then take a more tapered brush, Put in your medium color from your lash to crease or something with a shimmer with a little bit more pop and just really color in the center of that lid from lash to crease, little tear duct area, almost to the outside corner of the eye. Then go back with your fluffy brush that you used for the first color and then do your darkest color. Your darkest color is really going to just highlight the crease of your eye bed. And if you wanna use a little sideways V technique, it really highlights, as you can see, the eye shape really nicely. And then if you wanna take it a step further, take a tiny eyeshadow brush and dot on or just dust on that darker color right along the lash line just to give your eyelashes a little bit of depth and dimension. 
finish off by tight lining the eyelash line, then eyelash curler and mascara. And I'd say you're good to go. Honestly, it probably feels like this sounded like it would take forever, but I promise when you're not talking like I am and just doing it, you can knock this eyeshadow out in probably less than five minutes for real. Very, very easy. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that I did today, any questions about the products that I use, or if you're curious about the products that I use, these are some of my favorite brushes. I'll make sure to leave links to these brushes. Love this Tarte palette. Um, I'll leave it in the comments below in the description of this video. And if you are interested in how to do eyeliner, I know I didn't go in depth about eyeliner today. And typically I usually do like a, a good eyeliner look with my eyeshadow. I will link one of my other videos where I talked about very easy, simple practices for nailing a simple eyeliner look. So I'll also link that video below for you to check out as well if you're interested, but thanks for sticking around and watching and I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.